All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be going into uh, what I just finished creating here. So um, a lot of you have asked in a lot of my previous videos uh, if you can install my uh, dot files, and I never really had like a smooth, intuitive way of doing so. You could install it technically through um, DCLI if you used like my DCLI setup, but that gives you like my entire configuration, and it's not you know the cleanest way of you know getting it and you know starting fresh for for yourself to be able to configure it the way you want it after you have it. So so basically what I did is I created a new uh, repository for Black Dawn uh, config. So these are my dot files for Hyperland and for Neri, only with the dank shell for right now. I will add the Noctilia um, as well down the road and you have like the whole um, shell switching and stuff like that. But for right now, I wanted to keep it simple just to get it out there and be able to install Hyperland and Neri with my, you know, theming and, and configuration and everything. So uh, basically you can install both of them. There's an install script that you can install either Hyperland or Neri or both, uh, whichever one you prefer. It is going to come with the uh, DMS bar uh, at the top. So that's going to be everything for your lock screen notifications and all that good stuff. Um, I do use Capuchin uh, Mocha theme, um, consistent theming throughout all your applications with the terminal and the shell and everything. And this does come with the uh, DMS greeter. Um, so we'll change your greeter. Um, so if you have like S SDDM or something like that, it will change it to the DMS greeter, you know, themed with the uh, Capuchin um, theme and everything. So it will be installed as well. So my suggestion is actually doing like a like a fresh install of Arch or Cache OS or whatever it is and doing no desktop and going and installing this. Um, you'll get like the full best experience there. But you can install it on like a, a pre-existing one. But like I said, it does replace your greeter. I probably will change it so you can opt out of that option down the road. And then if you want to easily update your you know files and everything, it does automatically send link them to the .config. Uh, areas um, so you can make changes within the the main uh, repo folder there after you download it but you don't really have to do that you can go and update them as you see fit and I do have an optional uh, DCLI integration so if you do want to use DCLI what this will do you do select that um, during the installation it will set it up um, as your host um, but we'll create the um, YAML files for the existing packages that it takes to create this these dot files um, so that way you are you know at least set to start with these files being um, added to your uh, configuration um, and then you can you know change and update things as you, as you see fit in your DCLI you know setup so this is you know what what you will get kind of out of the box here with the uh, telepurple uh, icons and your capuchin theming so yeah so you just you can just come down here and um, and do the install script here to get everything installed and like I said you can can pick uh, which one you want there's an optional option for the DCLI integration. So you can do that if you want to. And it's going to theme all the applications and everything. And I will add some more uh, applications down the road, but optional applications, it's just the Zen Browser, Zed, and Helix. Those are just the ones that I already had in the configuration that I made optional. These are, are required for the actual theming um, portion of it. So you can change these down the road if you want to, but that's what it comes with out of the box. And like I said, I, I will update this to be a little bit more uh, flexible um, to give you some more options and stuff. But I just wanted to get something out there that will be able to, you know, download, you know, my configuration like a lot of people have been asking for and other, you know, videos and things like that. So, so and then I have like the universal, you know, keybinds uh, for both compositors. Um, these will work on both of them. And then, like I said, we have the DS DCLI integration, which is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, but basically it just installs it uh, from the AUR and then it does create the Arch uh, config for you, but does add these dependencies, packages, many YAML files uh, for you automatically. You don't have to worry about it. But then afterwards you can use DCLI just like it is, you know, intended to be used. And so yes, I mean, that is, that is pretty much it. As far as, you know, what you're getting out of the box, you file, you're actually going to get Nemo as the uh, file manager um, and then have the telepurple dark, you know, icons and everything. This one is actually still Dolphin here, uh, but Nemo is the one that I do normally use. I was just, you know, testing out Dolphin again, but you will get that. And then, like I said, the telepurple dark icons and then you will get the dms shell you know the way i have it you know configured at everything here with the colors uh the entire configuration of that and then you also get you know my entire your know, neary configuration and hyperlane configuration as well so you'll be able to go in and you know change these things if you want to but it will be broken up um just like this and then the hyperland one will also have all the options you know in here as well and like i said i do have uh i do 
want to bring other shells like Nautilia and Axe Shell. These are not actually connected at the moment, but I will add those and add like the, you know, the switcher script to be able to switch between uh, the different, you know, shells and stuff. But uh, we're going to keep it simple to start and kind of go from there. But is there, if there is anything like you do want, you can definitely, you know, hit me up in the comments and let me know, you know, what you would want to see um, in future iterations of this. If you do test it out, please let me know if there's any bugs, errors, issues. I intend there to be, you know, something <laughs> wrong with it. But um, I have done, you know, some testing on my uh, test PC and um, installed it on Cache OS the first time and everything went uh, fairly smoothly. Had a couple, you know, hiccups and issues, but I did fix those. So it should be a pretty smooth installation as of right now. But if you do run into any issues, you know, definitely let me know and I will get to them as soon as I can. But I just definitely just wanted to get this out there for you know people to be able to install it. And it also comes with all of my wallpapers as well. So I know a lot of people ask for the wallpapers. So these are in this repo as well. So you can you can grab those. And I will make the repo clonable so that way you can uh, use it on or use it and change it and configure it however you want to. So that way you can you know use what you want and take out what you want. Uh, but yeah, so I guess that is it for today. If you've enjoyed my content, definitely consider liking and subscribing. Uh, if you want to support me with like projects like this um, or DCLI or anything else I've done or my content itself, uh, please do so by going to ko-fi.com slash the black don. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.